Welcome to my review of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. It stars Michael Sierra, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, Chris Evans, Brie Larson, and many, many more. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World was the movie back in that decade. Critics loved it. Fans adored it. It is what essentially started the whole video game movie adaptation because it was based off of a comic book and it had its own cult classic video game and the movie did really, really well. And I want to review it to you in the year of 2023. Is this movie still as good as it was back in 2010? In my opinion, yes. So, the story of Scott Pilgrim essentially is, well, Scott Pilgrim starts this garage rock band, and he has no issues with getting girlfriends, but throughout the film, he tries to get rid of them, especially to particular girls. Ramona Flowers and, and Knives Chu played by Ellen Wong. And during the movie, Scott is kind of okay with this Knives Chu girl. She's a little young for him. She's a high schooler, but then he runs into Ramona Flowers, who he actually loves and actually cares about so he has this problem that he can't figure out he doesn't want to get rid of one for the other but he also doesn't want or he shouldn't be with both sorry because he's been cheated on before and then he knows how that feels well then throughout the movie we get into these just awesome awesome fight scenes the awesome, like, comic book style of, like, writing and just the awesome style they did back in the day for this movie. This type of style I wish would be brought back today in movies. The whole comic book-esque type of style, like, kapow, or wow, or when you're kissing your lover, hearts are flying everywhere, or when you're getting kicked through things and makes like a kapoor, like an awesome like, like comic book style type of feel to it. I wish more movies were like that in today's standard. But the question is, does it still realistically hold up in 2023? My answer is yes. But I want to know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you feel that Scott Pilgrim's vs. the World still holds up to today? And let's talk about the fact that it doesn't claim to be a comedy, but it's a really good romance slash comedy movie. There was a lot of funny things in this movie that I had forgotten about, but since I rewatched it, I remember. And that's what makes this movie very unique as well, is that it can blend the romance and the comedy together for such a unique and awesome package. That third and final act fight scene is just off the walls crazy. It's fantastic. And just when you think Scott and Ramona Flowers are done, they're able to come back at the end, reconnect, and just be awesome lovers. Oh, and a quick shout out to Chris Evans in this film. Who plays this badass ex-jock dude. Chris Evans is a beast. He does his job very well. So there you go guys. That's my review of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you seen this film? Is this one of your rewatchable films? And would you be interested in a sequel, possibly, to Scott Pilgrim movie? I know we're getting a Netflix animated show. I will be reviewing that as well on the channel. 
So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe to The Dave Show for everything fun, passion, reviews of mostly movies and, well, gaming content right now because we're in the Game Awards. But it's mostly movies. So see you on the next one, guys. Kapow! And peace!